Afternoon guys, hope you're well. Marty the Mad Magpie here and I've just come on this afternoon just to talk about Newcastle United's uh, recent transfer activity in uh, January which has turned out to be zero zilch at the minute. Um, nothing happening, we've been linked with uh, a couple of players and um, that's about it. You know, we've uh, been turned down for one particular player and uh, the other one I haven't even heard of. Um, and the other one, well, three players really, the other one, an astronomical loan fee, which Newcastle will not pay, and rightly so. Um, but before I go into all that, guys, welcome to my channel. It's great to have you this afternoon. Um, if you like any of my videos on my channel, after you check them out, please give us a like. And um, if you want to subscribe to my YouTube channel, you are more than welcome. It's completely free. Just press the subscribe button below the screen. And uh, any new videos will automatically appear on your YouTube screen and you can watch them there and then. OK, so Newcastle have had a bid from Bournemouth for Dominic Solanke. He scored against Newcastle earlier on in the year. We've had that turned down. Uh, Bournemouth have said that they do not want to sell him uh, in this moment in time. They don't want to sell him in January. That's entirely up to them. You know, they're fighting against relegation. They do not want to part with their, one of their best players. Even though recently for Bournemouth, he has been scoring goals. But in the past, he couldn't have dunked his backside from two yards. Uh, but there you go. Um, another one that's been quoted today. I've never even heard of the guy, Pablo de Barta. Never even heard of him. Um, I'm not even going to go into details with that guy because I don't even know who he is. And um, the lad we have on loan, uh, Mete, at uh, Feyenoord, he's not going to be coming back in January uh, from his loan spell. And the reason for that is is because Newcastle United aren't going to want to pay a fee to um, to get him back, which is, well, you know, it's, uh, we've given uh, Feyenoord their word that they can keep him until the end of the season, you know, so... Credit to Newcastle for doing that and, you know, and credit to Feenord for saying, well, no, we want to keep him. Uh, and in terms of another player, um, Calvin Phillips. Now, Calvin Phillips, excuse the screen moving there, guys. Uh, Calvin Phillips is a is another real classic. It really is. Um, he wants a move to either Newcastle or Leeds. Aston Villa have been sniffing around, so to have Juventus. Um, but Manchester City... Uh, asking, count this guy, £7 million for a loan fee. You know, and I've had people come up to me these last couple of days and asking, you know, is he really worth £7 million? That's the question. My opinion on Calvin Phillips is a fantastic player. Um, I think he's worth a bit more than £7 million. Um, but that is astronomical to ask any club in January for a, a loan fee. And it, and, it, and it really is. You know, I mean, you, you don't... Go and ask, um, you don't want to go and ask for that sort of money. I mean, if you, if it's like a million quid or something like that, fair enough, which is still a hell of a lot of money. Uh, that's fair enough. But seven million pounds, you know, I mean, I think the player at best is worth 12 million pounds. So you add another, another 500, uh, another five million onto that. You've got his, uh, you've got his, um, what he's worth for you mathematicians out there. Um, it's, uh, it's absolutely ludicrous. And the reason that we're not, there's two reasons why we're not getting any players in this month so far is because it's so difficult in January to get players in. Players, their uh, clubs aren't going to want to, um, part with players in January because they've, they've got the 25 man squad set and then they've got to do it again. And a lot of clubs don't want to, they don't want to adjust. They don't want to. They want to bring players in, and maybe drop players out. But what they don't want to do is rejig the whole twenty-five man squad uh, because it can take some doing. It's a lot of paperwork, and you know they just don't fancy doing it. And the other reason is that they can hike the prices up. And uh, any football club that sees Newcastle United coming over the horizon uh, to buy a player is going to increase their valuation for players tenfold but also that's not a problem though because Newcastle can afford these players they can afford to get them through the door um and the the thing is with with Newcastle United we are Saudi backed we aren't Saudi owned 
You know, that that is the thing. It's it, We're owned by a, a consortium, you know, which is Saudi-backed, which are a lot of, so are a lot of businesses across the world. You know, Newcastle United, there is money there, but we're not allowed to spend it willy-nilly because of financial fair play. And, and in some cases, that really does help um, because they don't want these uh, clubs with billions upon billions of pounds coming in and spending a load of money and taking over the league, which is which is fair enough. Um, it's just a pity that uh, they didn't realise that years ago when Chelsea came in, Roman Abramovich come in, or the Abu Dhabi Roy family came in, uh, respectively at Chelsea and Manchester City. You know, it's a pity that nobody took any notice back then. But there you go, it's gone. Yeah, so financial fair play takes a massive part in uh, plays a massive part for Newcastle United. And um, yeah, we didn't spend a lot of money in the summer, but you're limited. And for for big clubs like Newcastle, they want to go out, they want to spend money, but at the same time, they aren't going to, you know, they're, they're a bit like me in a way, a working class lad like myself, totally different to where uh, the consortium that size. But at the end of the day, I'm a working man and I don't mind paying over the odds for good quality things, you know? Like food, drinks, uh, goods, that sort of thing. You know, clothing. I don't mind paying over the odds if they are good, but I won't have my eyes taken out. You know what I mean? Um, I won't go and buy a pair of jeans for £85 if I can get a decent pair for 20 quid. You know what I mean? Similar. I will not do it. Um, same with a shirt. If I want to buy a new shirt, uh, I won't go and pay 95 quid just because of a label. You know, if I see a shirt somewhere in one of my local shops, you know, I'm not going to mention any names, but you know where I'm coming from. Um, see a shirt there that's about 15 quid. Oh, I'll have that. Or a tenner. Yeah, I'll have that. No problem. And um, it's uh, it, 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 it really gets to you, though, when you when you see this uh, happening. Um, you know, it's like it's like owning a shop and then you see somebody who you know has got loads and loads of money and then trying to flog them a tin of baked beans for instead of a quid, uh, you charge them a fiver because you know that they've got money. You know, they're not going to pay that. They're going to say bugger off, no chance. And that's exactly what Newcastle are doing um, to these clubs. You know, they're going in for players and they're going in to sign them and they're saying, oh, well, that player's worth 40 million, but that's 80 million to you because you've got plenty of money. I mean, the, the shenanigans we had to go through last summer, uh, last January to... Um, to bring in Anthony Gordon was absolute classic, you know. Uh, we managed to get him for 40 million quid, but Everton wanted 60, you know. And Newcastle were like, look, that's the offer we're giving in you. If you don't want it, then fair enough, we'll walk away. It's 40 million quid in the pocket. It's up to you. And that's what we'll be doing this uh, in this window for, for players. You know, we'll be looking, we'll be offering what we believe these players are worth. And um, that's that's the way of it. But the, the, the difficulty, there's not um, much uh, manoeuvrability, not much wiggle room in January because, as I said before, they don't want to mess up the 25-man squad. They want to hang on to players because a player leaving a club to join another club can make one club season or break their season, but it can also do the same for the, uh, not just for the buying club, it can also do the same for the selling club as well. You know, we've been through it in the past ourselves. 2009, uh, we sold, um, we let uh, Shea Given go to Man City, and uh, as a result, we ended up getting relegated. So it it just shows you that you can let one of your best players go, and things can happen. I'm not saying we're going to get relegated, but uh, some of the clubs, like take Bournemouth for instance, they're going to look at this and think, you know. Where do we go? If we sell Dominic Solanke, are we going to get another striker in? They, you know, it's, it's all about clubs getting other players in before they can let players leave. And, uh, it's, um, it's same with us. You know, we're waiting to see whether we can get players in because clubs are, are very cautious about letting lads go, uh, in January. It's a very difficult window. Personally, I don't think the window should exist at all. Um, transfer windows should be scrapped. I think it should be open, open for business. Um, from uh, August, wait, July, August time, right up into into uh, March, like it used to be before the end of the season. Uh, that was the, it used to be the old deadline, but then the powers that be had this great idea to bring in two transfer windows, which means you've got the football clubs, particularly on the last day, transfer deadline day, running around like a bunch of headless chickens. It's unbelievable. 
Um, but uh, there's no need to panic, Newcastle fans. Players will arrive, but it's it's very, very difficult for the club at the moment to get people in because of financial fair play. OK, so I'm going to wrap it up there, guys. Sorry I've rambled on a bit there, guys, but I hope you've enjoyed the video. And uh, I hope if you like this video, drop us a like. If you don't like it, give us a dislike. It's entirely up to you. And uh, if you want to subscribe to my channel, guys, press the subscribe button to get any new videos which are uploaded and you'll get instant access to them, OK? So any uh, transfer news that comes my way, I will bring it to you direct, guys, OK? Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye for now. Cheerio. All the best to you. Thank you.